if there's one thing I hate, it's misogyny. And there's something else that I hate, it's pedophilia. And if there's another thing I hate, it's stupid men. We've hit the trifecta on this one. Hi everyone, I'm Monica and welcome to my channel. Since it's Monday, I'm kicking off the week with a light, uncomplicated, simple topic. Colorism and rap. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the heinous video going around of that rap battle where one rapper says that he is better than his opponent because he has a light-skinned girlfriend and daughter while the other rapper has a dark-skinned daughter and girlfriend. That's some logic. And that is just the beginning of the nonsense that happens in this video. But before I really get into it, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more fun rants. Okay, so let's talk about this video and its star, the Uncle Tom piece of silver trash rapper, Giorgio Casper. So in the video, Casper announces that his opponent's daughter is going to have a terrible, miserable life full of abuse because she has dark skin, whereas his own daughter will be successful and happy because she has light skin. <sighs> okay, let's watch a little bit of the video, but trigger warning, extreme misogyny, sexism, colorism, and bogus bars ahead. <laughs> Your daughter gonna be a little broke. She gonna do anything for a pair of Reeboks. She gonna say, time me and time me, and I'm gonna watch her suck 60 of our men nuts in seconds. She's a G-shot. Then she gonna meet me. I'm gonna kidnap that Drag her by her hair. No, drag her by her hair. Then slap that Put her out on the strip. I don't give a if she's six. If 30 give me $30, then she's sucking 30 Dicks. Wow. Okay, so this is obviously awful for a lot of reasons. The main one being he is promoting sexually assaulting a child. He devoted an entire verse to talking about how a child deserves to be sexually assaulted because she has darker skin. Oh my god. That's the worst part of this video, throwing that out right off the back, and that is the reason why this rapper deserves all the death threats I'm sure he's getting by now. Let's get into the colorism aspect of the video. In case colorism is a new concept for you, colorism is a prejudice that exists within an ethnic group based on people being darker or lighter. So black people thinking that other black people are better or worse because they are lighter or darker. It's pretty messed up and has a long, sad history. Black men, not all, but some when it should be none, tend to talk about colorism a lot, especially when it comes to women. It's always kind of a thing that black men prefer lighter women, um, because they are more obedient and have better manners and were brought up better, supposedly, whereas darker-skinned women are loud and angry and unmanageable and blah, 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 blah. It's all nonsense and none of it's real. It goes back to slavery, of course, because lighter slaves that were mixed with a little white were allowed to be in the house and be house slaves, whereas darker slaves were forced to work outside in the fields and do manual labor. So you got rewarded for being lighter and closer to white. Colorism is a huge issue within the black community and within hip hop. From Kodak Black lyrics that say, I don't want no black bitch, I'm already black, to music video castings requesting mixed women only, it's really sad. How can we expect white people to stop being racist towards us if we as black people, especially predominantly vocal black people like rappers, uphold the same antiquated standards of colorism? That's not even a rhetorical question. Seriously, how? So, on colorism, black men, stop doing this! You are not any better for being with a woman with lighter skin, and she is not better for existing! As much as colorism is a problem, there are lots of people within the black community speaking out against it, being very vocal about it, and I do think, except for this video, of course, it is slowly getting better over time. Like a festering infected wound that is slowly healing, because what other choice does it have? All right, now I wanna talk about the blatant misogyny in this video. Misogyny and sexism are huge problems in rap, for sure. Everyone likes to talk about they money and they bitches and being in the club and drinking Henny. Yeah, we get it, we get it, you're really cool and important. But those issues stem from centuries of black men being forced to repress their feelings to survive. I'm not saying it's okay, but it's a whole other issue rooted in extreme generational trauma. But Giorgio Casper is on a whole new level. Like, he's a woman-hating pedophile. Like, I don't have to explain to you why writing a whole verse about wanting to assault a child is bad. So anyone saying, but it's a rap battle. It was not a rap battle. Which brings me to my next point. This was not a rap battle. Giorgio Casper, on top of all the other things that are wrong with him, is just a terrible rapper? His words had no flow, 
it didn't, it barely even rhymed. None of it was even clever. It wasn't even good. Like, not that that would have made it any better, but, like, it also really just shows that he's an idiot. Like, quit your day job. Or keep your day job. Stop pursuing rapping because you're really bad at it. Okay, evil Monica is about to emerge. If you haven't already grabbed your popcorn, now is the time. Since our boy Giorgio thinks he's all that, of course I had to check out his social media channels, and wow, what I found was really exciting. Or not, really, which is the point. First, I went to his IG. I think it was his because it had a rap battle little poster as the icon, but only has 300 followers and is private. Boring. Then I went to his YouTube channel, and ooh, that is where things got good. Georgie Boy has 12 videos. Most of them are for music videos for his sick raps, and two random workout videos, which is kind of hilarious. His most viewed video is for a song called Intro Add Me. It's actually a pretty well-made video. Like, there's some production value there, perhaps even some budget. The song itself is whatever, but it does have 14,000 views, which is not bad, you know? That's pretty good. I would expect a video with that many views to have around 30 to 50 comments. Honestly, more than that. But how many visible comments does this video have? Three! Three comments! And those comments are nice, hard, and emojis. I looked at his other videos and it's the same thing. It's hilarious. Giorgio bought his video views. Or he turned the videos into ads, but that'll get you views but no real engagement. So his YouTube channel and all the views aren't really real. Except for this one that has like 500 views where you can tell that he stopped putting money into it. Ooh, oh man, I love it. I love it so much. Have fun with your fake rap career. Okay, I am heated, so I'm gonna wrap, lol, this up. Giorgio, I would like to address you directly for a brief moment. Giorgio, I am sorry that you hate yourself and your dark skin so much. I am truly sad for you for that. You are clearly filled with self-loathing, and that is something you should talk to a professional about. But you're not a real rapper, and you probably should get locked up for child pedophilia, because if you're talking about that so blatantly, you're probably hiding something else. You don't have no bars. You don't got no rhymes, but like I said earlier, you probably do have a lot of death threats. So have fun with that. So thank you for watching. Leave me a comment about how you feel about colorism, or if you saw this video, what your thoughts on it are. Anybody have an update on Giorgio? Like, is he missing yet? Has he gone into hiding? Is he still trying to do some rap battles? Because, like, wow, he should probably run for it. Like, I'm sure black Twitter and the black internet is coming for him. I'm gonna go cool off by listening to some Childish Gambino or something because whoo, wow, if there's one thing I hate, it's misogyny. And there's something else that I hate, it's pedophilia. And if there's another thing I hate, it's stupid men. We've hit the trifecta on this one. I'm gonna go. But have a good week, everyone.